All right, so Learning to Fly by Tom Petty. This is from 1991's Into the Great Wide Open album. This is the second album that uh, was produced by Jeff Lynne uh, from ELO, and he's such an awesome producer, and he actually co-wrote a lot of these songs for these albums. And um, I'm actually making this uh, video here just a couple of days after Tom Petty has passed away. So, um, you know, I've been meaning to do one of his songs for a long time or maybe even a bunch of them because I just love his stuff it's so good he just had that knack of coming up with super simple stuff and this song to me is the ultimate example of that and of course Jeff Lynne's production is just amazing but anyways okay let's get into it it's in the key of C and there's only four chords right yeah so we've got an F a C an A minor and a G and the way I play it, and the way I hear it, is um, I hear the B string is the highest note in all those chords, okay? So when we play this F, we want to we play it that way, okay? A3, D3, G2, and B1. And mute the high and the low E. So we're just playing the inside string. And we go to the C, right? Just a matter of lifting off the little finger, putting the middle finger on D2. And again, mute the high strings, or yeah, the low E and the high E. And then A minor, same thing, muting the high and the low. And then G, muting the A string with the fleshy part of that third finger. And I also mute that G string, or the E string, up there. I don't actually press that, right? So we're always getting... Okay, so that's how to play the chords. And then um, the strumming is kind of this feel. Okay, so we, what we've got there is the, the down, up, down, up, and then we miss we miss that down, right? We miss another down there. Okay, so that's kind of how the strumming goes. Although there are other guitars on, there's so many guitars on this, uh, this record um, that just go... Okay, and really even, right? Um, and the trick to making this sound smooth to me is, you know, that change from F to C is actually pretty easy, right? Easy to make that sound smooth. But when you put A minor, you gotta definitely make sure to keep the G string and the B string ringing, right? As you change to A minor. And when you're up in G, want to keep the B or the D, the G and the B ringing, right? So real slow. There, keep that ringing as we go down to the F, right? Okay, so it might take a little work for, for you know, if you're newer at guitar, just to get that real smooth. Okay, and then at some point it's um, it it, uh, it goes to the G and holds on the G. So it's just it just kind of goes up and down on that that C note, right? Okay, and just really work it being even with the strumming. Right? And then, of course, it goes into that other bit out of there. Okay, and that's just what it sounds like.
Okay, and that's pretty well it for the uh, the rhythm parts. And of course, you know, this is played on 12 string acoustic, 6 string acoustic, 6 string electric. <laughs> There's a ton of guitar tracks on this song. Okay, and then there's kind of the main picking electric part that goes like this. Okay, and that's kind of what is emphasized, that's what you hear mostly, but um, in the background there's another guitar that's going. Okay, and it's just between the G and the, and the B strings, right? So that's kind of the main part. Pull off on the G string. Okay, and then the other part. Okay. Of course, if you're in a two-guitar band, you know, one guy's going to do that, the other guy's going to go. Okay, and just trying to make that work. But there's so many guitar tracks on this record. It's part of what makes it sound so ethereal, right? And as the singing starts, that sort of banks off. That's what I hear there, right? Just... And then the second verse, he does that again. It's best just to listen to the track and you can, you can see where that comes in and out, right? And then in the chorus, he's going to go like this. Okay, so it's just G to C, C note on the B string, then C, open E, um, D note, B3, open G. And that part is doubled up here. Okay, and I'm sure you know that um, it, it was played on the 12 string. I think it was. It's hard to tell. There's so many tracks, right? But what I did in my demo is I just did it here and doubled it here. And it, it seemed to, to work pretty good. Um, okay, so that's that part. And then there's uh, there's the chunky part, right? Which it just comes in like... Uh, you're really basic, right? Um, so you just got, you know, the, the root and the fifth, C chord. Well, I should start on the F, sorry. F and C, and then C, and you can either go open, A, and D2, or you can just do it up there. So, and just chunk, right? And then in the ending, it just adds a little riff where it goes. Okay, and that's that part. And then the only other part is the slide solo. And um, got my slide here. I'm just going to change my sound over. Just take a second. Okay, so I've changed my sound over now. I've got it on the Dirty Channel. I put a little bit of delay on it. Um, and, like, I am really not a slide player, so um, really actually quite bad at it. <laughs> but I somehow managed to fluke it out when I made that demo. When I made the demo, so... Um, I'm just going to show you what I did, okay? So, we've got this. Okay, so what that is, is we've got this C chord up there, right? We've got D string, G string, and B string on the 17th, and we're going to go... 
right? Try and get a little vibrato on that. And it trails down. And on the record, there's when it trails down, there's like left and right um, overdubs that kind of add to that sort of ambience of that part. And then we've got... It's just the ten, uh, eighth fret, E string, E string. And we've got this lick. And it's like. Now, the way he plays it, he, he goes. Right? That way, but what I did is. I just slid up there to the C on uh, D10 instead of the C on G5, okay? And that last bit is just the uh, um, A and D string on the 10th. And then I just... I don't know, he probably went with the slide, but I'm so crappy at slide, I just went, right, just my little finger, sliding up to a, this, uh, A7, A5, A3. So, that whole thing. Okay, so that's the slide solo. <laughs> sort of, the best I can do it anyways. Um, and that's it for the song. Just a fantastic song, you know, again, so simple but so well played, so well produced, and um, just got this sort of specialness about it. And to me, I would have to say, my opinion, that's his best song. Um, anyways, I hope you get something out of this video. I hope uh, you enjoy playing this song. And, um, you know, Tom Petty, just an awesome songwriter. Um, and he's kind of, you know, part of the soundtrack of you know, if you're my age, of all our lives, right? Like his songs have been through, you know, what, the late 70s, all through the 80s, all through the 90s. Just um, just an awesome, uh, highly talented artist. And seemed like a really cool guy, too. Anyways, like I say, I hope you get something out of this video, and we'll talk to you next time.